Hey everyone and welcome to another TWM Tile video and in this one we're doing a quick review of HMS Vanguard. As all I can say is the ship has improved quite a bit since it originally came out. So Vanguard is well, it was the last of the battleships built by Britain and it actually used the really old 381mm guns, okay, the old 50 inch guns that would have been used on ships such as HMS Renown, Hood and Repulse. It was mainly, it was pretty much surplus arsenal weapons. So for its secondary armaments, it has 8x dual 134 dual purpose guns, 40, 11x1 single millimeter, well 11x1 40mm buffers, 10x6 40mm buffers, and 1x dual Stanag. So it's got quite a hefty medium range at the aircraft, especially when it's reinforced. So, it's got about 30 to 31 and a half knots if you have, it's 30 knots and 31 and a half if you've got the flag on. When you, as regards to its maneuverability, with the rudder shift time is 9.7 seconds. Which is outstanding actually for a battleship, I actually think that's really good for a battleship. Compared to other, some, well, compared to other ones, I think it's really good for a battleship. So, on the horizon. Best, best way to describe it, so what's the pros of it? It's got second largest hit point pull for the tier after flat stroke. Its accuracy is, uh, to my knowledge, is probably the best in tier. Relatively good main battery traverse speed and very quick reload speed which is definitely due to, it's definitely a big one for it. Its HE shells are very standard British battleships, very powerful. And honestly, the rudder shift time is outstanding. I'm pretty sure it's actually better than some heavy cruisers, so yeah, I definitely recommend it that way. And if you build it and spec it for AA, it's probably one of the best tier rates in regards to AA, as it's mid-range. AA suite is outstanding, as you'll see later on in this game. And you're probably wondering why this game was... Well, it loaded in slightly different. It's because I'm doing it as a replay, it's sadly... I didn't actually record this game directly, so it makes it a bit awkward out there. While it does have the enhanced repair party consumable, that the well the, the typical British one, it well it does have it. It does need it because its armor is squishy for tier eight. It does another another few cons of the ship is its DPM is hard to match with other. It really is. It's only got eight three hundred. It's only got eight fifteen inch guns. Roller ships have nine sixteen inch guns and other various high caliber weapons. Its firing angles are pretty pathetic. Actually, they're quite bad. The firing angles were. Though I will say this here. One thing that gives it a big, a big disadvantage for fighting carriers is its lack of spawning and conical fighting. Even though its AA suite is very good, it still needs some decent. It still needs. It's uh, still handy to have a catapult fighter. And as you can see there with the 18-inch guns, it's still, it, it, they do a good job. Just two, two, two citadel, citadels are in Massachusetts for the guts of 25k. So. It might be the biggest caliber, but they do the job. Another big concern of this ship is it lacks a lot of torpedo protection. Its torpedo belt is relatively thin, so you need to be careful when playing it. I can't remember off the top of my head what the torpedo reduction is. I think it's only about 20% roughly, I can't remember. So I'm not 100% sure on that there, so please don't quote me, I think it's quite low. I forgot to check the torpedo reduction before this. Now, what, there's a few recommendations I would recommend for. Depending on what way you do it. If you want to reinforce it for a good frontline ship, main armaments 1, damage control, aiming systems, damage control 2, and concealment. Though with concealment, you'll get an outstanding concealment of 12 kilometers. However, for me personally, I chose to reinforce my AA base as well, instead of some of the damage control. As you know, with carriers, carriers are cancerous. 
even though they're from the play. I quite like Iron but they're a cancer, so we need to really reinforce your AA base. And as you'll see later on in this video, it comes in very handy for me. So I do get quite lucky here. The Roma is being quite silly. I'm being I'm trying to trying to angle as much as I can really at this point. But I'm slightly running out of options. <laughs> So I'm hoping, I'm trying to get my rear guns on, but I don't have much of a choice of trying to the get them on iron. Because if I do a full explosion full broadside to the fusso, it could technically delete me. So I need to give just enough to do severe damage. As you can see, I've got no issue to down ships as long as I'm accurate with them and I don't fuck up my shots. So this is coming up to the first kill, I believe, I did. With another Citadel on the Fusso. I have a right tank that got the 700k damage, which is quite a bit with 21k spawning damage. So it does show this ship has a lot of potential as a frontline ship, as long as it's played correctly Rapidos, and used in the right scenarios. Now ships such as... with well, such... well... Most tier 8 ships will overmatch this armour. It's only got 32mm bar armour. Most people will overmatch it with general plating. So, you would need to pick your brawling engagement, you really do. And, admittingly, this destroyer player is actually pretty, he does pretty well actually. He gives me a few bloody scares <laughs> on up here that you'll get a giggle at. But, for commander skills, expert marksman. Pri sorry, priority target level 1, expert marksman level 2. Superintendent is, re is really needed. Fire prevention and concealment. And the remaining I would either put into adrenaline or into specking its AI. It depends really on you. There's a few configurations that's handy. And honestly, while there are handy a lot of the configurations, it's really down to the player. As some people prefer to be as AI spec as possible. Just to try and reinforce their defenses, as also AA is quite is is really needed to get AA in this game. Now, it used to be if you were able to get in close as a fleet, you were able to do pretty decent. But sad to say, you need to reinforce it, and you can't really play any other way. Sadly, though. I will say, I will give you this fair warning, but that's right, I got, I got two captures in this game. I will say this, this ship is very vulnerable to IFHE because of the way its armour is. While it does have an armoured citadel and armoured concealment, well, well armoured other decks and all of that is quite thick. Because it has a lot of casement armour and a lot of external armour, of 32mm mil plate armour. High explosive will cause a lot of fires and IFHE will cause a lot of damage. As you can see this DD up here is actually already causing pain in the neck to me, but thank goodness I am quite well off for it as I've got very good maneuverability. I actually asked this and Don will go spot the DD for me, but he refuses to do so and proceeds to try and blow up the Helena and Nuremberg with planes, which is really stupid because the Helena's got outstanding AA. I get that Andromeda has good planes, like, but Helena can pump the DPM for AA very fast. So at this point, I'm going. To, I'm thinking right. Nuremberg's my next target. Thinking right. Just get my guns lined up. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. Be with Nuremberg's planes. So at this point, I'm sort of kicking it, and I've asked someone to spot the DD for me. As I'm kicking myself about where the DD is coming from, as I have no idea. I've got a slight idea he's probably coming from the north or the direction I'm sailing. So a rough idea. At most it'd be northeast, but I actually make this mistake, and he actually comes from behind me, which is quite a shock. 
Thankfully, it's enough of a shock that I'm able to dodge it. Due to my... So, you'll begin noticing this is one in. I'm glad I've got such a good A, sweet one. And you'll begin noticing the amount of damage this does to planes. As you can see, my plane damage starts really racking up, especially as soon as I tr do concentrated fire on one area. Uh, there's up to 5k already. I spotted the carrier. 8k. 10k. There we go, there's an entire squad of gone. 9 kills. So that's when I shit myself and realised, oh fuck, he's right behind me. And uh, luckily enough for me, torpedoes run out. So I have quite lucky in that one. So the AA on Monarch, not Monarch, uh, Vanguard is absolutely outstanding. And it's one that I would definitely say is hard to beat. So at this point I'm gonna try I try to get all my all my guns around for a folly. But at the same time I need to get into a turn to try and dodge these planes. And as you can see with my well, as you can see with the rubber shift, it's absolutely outstanding. I managed to actually get through, and I'm up to the guts of 20k plane damage already. I managed to actually dodge these torpedoes, amazingly, and capture the point as well, somehow. <laughs> so I racked up 23k plane damage quite quick, and thankfully my 15 inch guns are working quite well at the minute, I managed to rack up two citadels on the Indomitable to do some nice damage to her. And <laughs> does he even try to take pop shots at landing planes with his glorious. So he tries another run at me. I managed to just get normal penetrations. Nicely done up to 27k. At this point I'm slightly raging because I think that I think the is gonna steal do a kill steal after doing fuck all most of the game so I think he's gonna do a kill a kill steal. And so I'm up to 118k 30k plane damage, and I just killed their carrier. I also get one more kill later on, and the Citadel, Enemy aircraft even though it's only 1800. After I get this kill, that's, I don't take any more damage really. That's it, shot down. Enemy cruiser foundered. And it works out roughly in the end with about 40k plane damage and 124k damage normally. So, Vanguard I definitely recommend for an experienced player to get as a premium ship. It's one that definitely an experienced player will enjoy and will have a lot of fun in. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I'm going to end the video here before it goes to the black screen. And as you can see up top, I did come. I actually did come. I think I came second in this game. But 47 hits, seven citadels, five secondary hits, three kills, two captures, twice shoot damage with 40k plane damage and 120k. Normal damage with Our 1 million tanks and 22k spot damage, so I definitely recommend this to an experienced player who enjoys an interesting battleship. Thanks again for watching and please like and subscribe.